Hey guys, Mike Chan here in Seoul, South Korea. This is gonna be a really amazing food day, especially you gotta check out where we're going for dinner. But before that, some breakfast and big thank you and shout out to the sponsor of this video, Magic Spoon. Like I said, whenever I travel, I always carry a couple boxes of these with me. Peanut butter, one of my favorite flavors. I told you guys this, I am absolutely obsessed with cereal. Every time I go to a buffet, I know I shouldn't, but if I see cereal there, I'm getting it. And to this day, I don't walk down the cereal aisle of a grocery store, I just don't. Way too enticing. And I know at my age, I really shouldn't be eating that much cereal, just so much sugar in there. And that's why even before Magic Smooth became my sponsor, I was looking around for like a, a healthier cereal. So I actually bought this and was eating it before they reached out to me. And what I love about this is, first of all, it tastes good. Also, zero grams of sugar, 13 to 14 grams of protein, that's huge. And only four net grams of carbs and only 140 calories per serving. So a lot of times, especially when I'm at home, I just eat this for dinner. Also, it's gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, low carbs. And if you're on a keto diet, it's keto friendly. Also, they got a ton of different flavors. You got the classics like cocoa, fruity, frosted, peanut butter. There's cookies and cream, maple waffle, blueberry, cinnamon. They do limited flavors all the time as well. So it's never boring. So if you wanna give this a try, go to the link down below and build your very own variety pack and use my promo code Mikey Chin for $5 off. And if you're in the UK or Canada, Magic Spoon now ships there as well. And this is my favorite part. There's a happiness guarantee, which means that if you're not happy when eating this, get your money back. Mm. I'll see you for lunch. First up, fire fa. Like literally, it, it's on fire. There's quite a few good fun places in South Korea. This place smells really, really good. And this is what we're here for, this fire pho. Like at most Korean restaurants, there's always a place to get some side dishes to get a little condiment. Oh, look at this. Chilies. This is a really good deal. You get two noodle soups, you get a bun show for free. So their specialty is this pho that they literally use a blowtorch on. So it got two different pho. One is the traditional beef pho, and one is definitely Korean influenced intestine pho. And they char up the intestines with a blowtorch. So this thing was literally on fire. There's some scallions, sprouts, noodles, some beef in here as well. But usually people come here for this because of the intestines. And again, the traditional bowl of pho, flank steak, it looks like a little brisket, flat noodles in the broth. The broth is way creamier looking than traditional Vietnamese pho broth. It's a really peppery broth. It's good. Just really, really peppery. Not as beefy as typical pho broth, I think. A little more gelatinous, but good solid broth. Not too shabby. Crunchy, a lot of sprouts in there. Not the traditional types of veggies that you would just typically put in a dish like that. But the taste is pretty good. Oh, this is the maximum level of spiciness you can get in a broth. And when I asked for it, um, they looked at me and tried to warn me that it's super, super spicy. The broth is definitely more oily because they're using intestines, but the spice level is okay. Overall flavor. <coughs> definitely greasier than any food I've ever had. And the flavor is really interesting in a good way. Definitely also funkier, but I like the intestines. It tastes more like a Korean Vietnamese fusion dish. But overall, pretty good. Especially with these like vinegary onions. 
that cuts down on the grease a lot. I mean, if you're looking for a traditional bowl club, probably not dish. They also sear the meat in the regular foot dish too. Nice broth, meat is good, noodles are tasty. Makes my tummy warm, makes me satisfied. Again, probably not the most traditional bowl of I've ever had. But a tasty one. This plate has the best strawberry shortcake. Fresh strawberries, the cream and cake is so light, especially after a greasy meal. This thing just feels so good on your tongue and your stomach. Actually, any strawberry products you get in South Korea, more likely than not, it's gonna be good. They utilize that fruit so well. Stay here, eat that, drink some tea. This is a really popular place. So if you want to go for halal Korean barbecue, this is the place to go to. It's mutton barbecue. There's everything from skewers to rack of lamb, all Australian lamb. There's also plant-based if that's what you're into. There's soups, there's dishes. This looks like a lot of good stuff here. I'm for sure getting the skewers. Oh wow, this is super affordable too. So 15,000 won for one, two, three, four. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm about a dollar per skewer. That's a pretty darn good deal. Gonna get that, maybe get a rack of lamb. Oh, this is gonna be good. Plus charcoal grill as well. Banchan, you get a little Chinese pickle radish, some kimchi. This plate is just some salt and sesame. Get a rice as well, some salad. Oh, thank you. Got an orange juice. Oh, that is tart. And the charcoal, just took a look. Wood charcoal. You want to have a good lamb barbecue, you cook it over wood charcoal. If you go to China, that's going to bring out the best flavor. Lamb goes on, skewers goes on, and the skewers are facing out because they do all the cooking for you. The skewer looks like a good balance of fat and lean. Lamb as well, got the fat rivering through the meat. And this stuff cooks quick. Soup has arrived. Wow. Oh, this is good. Mmm. That flavor is incredibly deep. Also, it's a lamb soup, but no gaminess whatsoever. I think my skewers and my barbecue is about done. Mmm, that lamb in the soup is so tender. There's some scallions in here, cabbage, little broken up pieces of meat, and my barbecue is done. First of all, it smells incredible and also juicy. This bit is some chilies and cumin. Mm. Oh, that is masterful. As tender and juicy as you can possibly imagine. Mmm. We have different kinds of different sauce, honey, mustard, sweet and spicy. I recommend stick to the chilies and cumin. The meat came off the skewers. That's how they serve it to you. 
I would like it more if I could just eat it directly off the skewers itself. Basically, a dollar per skewer, which is a really good price. Mm. The cumin just working as magic on the meat, making every bite you take not just awesome for your taste buds, but your nose as well. I like to take it and cook the spices a little bit on the fire. Letting it release the aroma even more. Really, the price is amazing here. Just jumping back and forth from the soup to the barbecue. Mm. The rack of lamb is definitely the highlight. I mean, the skewers are wonderful. The rack of lamb is just so tender and juicy. Look at that. Just let that cook a little bit with the spices on there. <laughs> Ridiculous, ridiculous. Also, they made a little drumstick for you using foil. Dunk it into the chili and cumin. Again, just a tiny bit on the grill. Best part of everything was that. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna save the other one until the end because it's so good. Already running out of chilies and cumin. This is so incredibly satisfying. And if the fattiness from the meat becomes too much for you, little bite of kimchi, all it takes to neutralize things and you're back to eating more. Mm. Only bad thing. Casualty, my shirt, my brand new shirt. I really need a travel bib. I'm such a messy eater. I think the meat, rather just being top quality, it's so nicely balanced, so you get a lot of good fat. And that's what makes the barbecue. If it's too lean, it's just not gonna be good. And the meat here, not at all. So sad. Couple pieces of the lamb chop left. That is by far the best cut of meat on the menu. I mean, the skewers are good, but I should have just got all lamb chop. I mean, the quality is just phenomenal. Also, staff here, so, so, so nice. If you're in South Korea, you're looking for a good halal restaurant, or just a good barbecue place in general, this is it for you. Oh, apparently you can grill rice cakes too. I didn't see that on the menu. There's garlic skewers, rice cake skewers, and an onion skewer. You should 100% get the garlic skewer. They just use the garlic skewers to abuse the meat skewers. Getting that nice essence and flavor all up in there. Those lamb skewers might want to file a complaint after what just happened to them. Okay, this is done. Look how pretty roasted garlic looks. Drop that in some chilies. And cumin. Oh, that's pretty. Eat that with a piece of the skewer. Oh, adding the garlic on 100% the right move. Eat it with some barbecue lamb and cumin and chilies. Oh. I am enjoying the heck out of this. Dinner is gonna be awesome. I'm at this restaurant that apparently a lot of K-pop people go to, a lot of, well, everybody goes to, it's just packed. We waited in line for about um, almost an hour to get in. From what I can tell, it's a giant, barbecue and you get in here you order a set menu which comes with this beautiful hanwoo steak and hanwoo sushi apparently look at the marbling on the steak hanwoo is a little less fat content to a5 wagyu bigger beef flavor everything's gonna be cooked on this pan and wait till you see what goes in the middle first the pancake goes in getting the blowtorch treatment. Very common thing in South Korea. And then the pancake is placed back on the pan. 
Hanwu Sushi goes back onto the pan, loads horse on top, making it nice and charred. Wasabi goes on, pickled onions. Next, the Hangu steak goes onto the pan. There we go, little Hangu sushi. Mm. Mm. That meat just melts. Also, a sort of bunch on here as well. Oh, pancakes so good. fat from the hangu, which there is a lot of, to cook the greens, making the greens smell so fatty and nice. The hangu is getting sliced up. So give me the hangu with a little wasabi on top and some greens. How does it melt in your mouth, piece of stick? Look at how pretty the meat is. Really, really love this stuff. Wasabi on top, piece of onions. That rice is so nice as well. I mean, this is really delicious. It's not even the best part. Mm, this bunch on is just the best. I don't even know what's all in here. I think a little mushroom, chili peppers, some crunchy greens. That is so good. How beautiful is this? See all the fat coursing through the meat. That uh, hummus is too good. I mean, everything, the meat, combination of the wasabi, combination of the veggies, everything is just prepared beautifully. I hope the egg is coming later. Or else I'm gonna order a whole new set of dinner because I wanna taste that egg. Tell the bodies to pull up, pull up. There's a party we can go all night. I will show you how to run the red light. If you wanna, you can call me mine. Let me just kind of explain what happened here. So after we finish the steak and the pancake and the vegetables, they come over, they clear the plate. Then comes the brisket. Brisket is flame torch. I feel like South Koreans is having an obsession with blow torches, which God bless them for that. That's so beautiful. The whole entire thinly cut pieces of beef gets flame broiled. Come on, Burger King, learn from that. Different vegetables come on, including sprouts, more greens, gosari, which is this crunchy root, kimchi, a little wrapper, I think is konjac jelly, or some kind of dumpling skin, and and then these all get cooked and laid on the side vertically, all looking beautiful, leaving space for, yes, a lake 
full of eggs cooked in the fat and the grease and the essence of all the food ingredients that came before it scrambled to absolute perfection with again blowtorch on top and all that is piled onto the plate with a little wasabi and just eat it all by dipping it a little bit in the sauce So good, so good, so good. The delicious skyscraper of food. But each layer also has its own unique flavor. The bottom wrapper, it's a little chewy. The beef melts in your mouth. Crunch from the sprouts and the kimchi is contrasted by that beautiful scrambled egg in the middle. Look at that. How absolutely glorious is this? I'm not doing justice with, by the way I'm preparing it, but Absolutely delicious nonetheless. Oh, I forgot the layer of squid as well that's in here. I'm just gonna just dunk this into the scrambled eggs and let it cover my beef and squid. Mm. I mean, every texture you want from the fatty, melty beef to the crunchy veg to the chewy wrappers on the bottom and the delightful squid. All that little spice from the kimchi and from the wasabi crunch from the pickle of vegetables, all that. It's just tied together by the meltiness of that egg. Mm. Not burnt at all, by the way. So incredibly velvety. This velvety blanket that completely embraces all the other ingredients, making this dish not just texturally a masterpiece, flavor-wise, it's basically got everything you want. This is one of the coolest dishes I had in South Korea so far. I love this banchan so much, I finished it. Brought another one over. Whole set meal is, uh, 130,000 won. So maybe about $110 for two of us. So about 50 something a person. I'm telling you, worth it. Worth it. Just with the hangu is worth it. I thought it was over after the egg scramble. Nope, there's a soup dish at the end. It took out all the ingredients, just kept some leftover drops of egg and added a soybean paste soup. And that is gonna act as the final dish of this course meal. Basically soybean paste soup for dessert. Rice is cooked into the soup, making this soybean paste congee. And it is awesome. Oh, also, a bit of a check. This is actually a meal for three people. So $110, not a bad deal for three people. Okay, highly recommend you trying this. Starting to wrap up this very short trip to South Korea. Oh, it's so awesome. Being able to just go around and find random places to eat. Like any neighborhood you're in, you're going to be able to find something. And as always, all the places I went to, listed down below for you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later.